Yeah, I love this deck for Howard the Duck. You see, I'm all about Sarah control decks. I think it's the ultimate archetype, has tons of flexibility. You feel like you can win any given matchup. You got these awesome swingy tech cards with Shang-Chi and Enchantress, feeling like you can really uh, deal with your opponent's various threat cards. And I've been really itching to put Iron Lad into this deck because I love it so much. But the problem with Iron Lad and these really reactive cards like the Enchantress, the Shang-Chi, the Killmonger, even the Polaris, for instance, you don't know what you're going to hit. So you didn't know if you needed to play it where Shang-Chi is good or where Enchantress are good or what kind of result you could expect. So you had these, you know, unreliable cube rates and snapping patterns. But... Howard comes along and he fixes that problem and creates space for Iron Lad in this deck, which of course as a four cost card that can serve as an extra way to find that Shang-Chi or Enchantress that you wouldn't have otherwise drawn can be an awesome tool. So Howard basically enabling a nice little Iron Lad package here in basically my favorite deck archetype. I even managed to squeeze a Stegron in here as well for some additional, you know, four cost uh, kind of counter or answer sorts of cards. And you know what? It worked great. This had great results for me because, you know, the core of this is ultimately a Sarah Control, which is a really high tier uh, meta deck. And although we made a few changes, it retained a lot of that raw power level. I'm not going to tell you it's better than a regular refined Sarah control deck obviously you need way more data but if you are one of the lucky few who managed to grab a howard and an iron lad in other words you're a billionaire or a content creator and you want to try this out uh you can definitely do that alternatively even if you don't have these cards if you want to see some of the new stuff in action in a fun shell and maybe give yourself a little something to look forward to with these cards i think i've got some really fun games to spotlight in this video Ooh, early howard Let's try not to <laughs> enchantress him. Killmongering him, him is fine, but let's just remember when we killmonger him. That's really the uh, important part. Nova on the top. That's good. That's good. Uh, I gotta be a little bit careful on spacing here. If they do have like an armor or something, this is a good spot for them to play it, but uh, I don't know. It seems, it seems early. Sentinel's coming next. Okay. This kind of fills them up a little bit right, maybe. Oh, okay, sure. I mean, it's gonna be hard for me to get power there, but Sarah is a very good roll to land, at least. Kind of almost want an earlier Killmonger in this case so that we can, oh. Yeah, right on time, buddy. Uh, Iron Lad is up next. Okay, that's gonna be handy to, to make a good call off of maybe. Do we, do we, I guess the question is, do we indeed play this Killmonger sooner rather than later? We lose the Howard is the problem. Probably not really ready to lose Howard just yet. Could put Stegron here, Scarlet Witch here. Next turn, we have a three cost Iron Lad and a Killmonger. We see what the Iron Lad has. We Killmonger out all this garbage to create space to contest mid. We have an advantage mid already because Stegron has moved Polaris out. Yeah, I like this, okay. This seems decent. Oh, that's... <sighs> well, that kills my curve. Uh... Oh, it's a rock. Okay, well... <laughs> Not exactly the Iron Lad we wanted anyway, so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... So we know we're drawing a rock. It's really just about what Iron, uh, Iron Lad hits next turn or whether or not it hits an Enchantress. I guess in this case, we don't really need to play the Killmonger this turn. The, the advantage would be opening up space mid to contest mid better. The disadvantage though, is that I lose the Iron Lad read because I killed the Howard and I might need the Iron Lad read to win right with an Enchantress or Shang-Chi. I mean, maybe I play it for the 50-50 anyway, but then I kind of have a cube deficit. Uh, that's a tough call. I don't know. That's a tough call. Green Goblin. Okay, that's that's fine. Man, Green Goblin's been everywhere. Is this a, a, a Galactus tech where people are running, I guess? It's Shang-Chi. Okay. So, Iron Lad there. Oh, yeah, this is fine. I mean, we may not win, but it's fine. Uh, we play Rock for any, like, Arrow outs or weird Magneto outs or something. I don't know. Probably doesn't matter, but maybe. 
This should be fine, right? Did I count right again? Four and four, and negative two is six. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I can. After about seven tries, <laughs> it took, like, let's be honest, it took me a minute, but it got there. It got there. Okay. Yeah, dude, the top, the uh, the Howard uh, knowing the, the, the Iron Lad call really helped you. Like, you know, if you were going to stay in this game, you could have anyway and just played for the 50-50 because both Enchantress and Shang-Chi solved the problem. So it's kind of a 50-50, right? But when it comes to cubes in particular, if you want to make sure you're not risking cubes, then the Howard helps because you know you're hitting that 50-50. Go get him, Howard. I kind of wish this had like I didn't have to click it, you know, I understand from a UI standpoint It's way cleaner, but it would be kind of nice if it just like showed a little icon or the logo or something So I have to constantly click at it because I'm lazy You know if it just showed like a little like if he had a magnifying glass He was holding and like the the character's face was in the artwork or something like listen I know I'm asking a lot, but and that would be very cool you know that would that would that would help so i don't have to click it all the time and if it updated in real time that'd be fun probably asking too much though um okay i don't know if this helps but the idea of maybe filling up their spots a little bit's pretty cool shang chi we could leave the lizard there to shang chi it later but then i'm off curve a bit i think we just stay on curve we'll have plenty of shang chi targets hopefully Star Lord or Rocket better? I don't know. I don't really think I care. Rocket dies to Killmonger later, I guess. Oh, that helps me win Eternity range. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, all right, Howard, what do you got, buddy? It's, uh, oh, Sarah! Yes! That's awesome, an early Sarah. That's so cool. Thank you, Iron Lad. Um, okay, that lets me have that back on six, which I guess we're pretty cool with, I think. We can also just Stegron a bunch of power away from this. I don't know if that's particularly relevant, but definitely something to think about. Uh, mm, okay. Second, Sarah. Pretty cool. In case they enchantress or something. I dig it. Might play like Professor X, maybe, that sort of thing, but that's okay. Might Chang Chi this too, I guess, but you know, but that's why we got another one. All good. Oh, good. Chantress, okay. Good news is it's still a 12 power unit, right? And we have the other one. Pretty chill. Um. Okay, so Killmonger hits Rocket and a Rock, but also Howard. Stegron whacks stuff away, but I, I guess the question is, does that really help us or not? I, I don't know. I think we kind of like a Scarlet Witch here because we might worry about them playing a big card here that we're not well versed against, like a, like, you know, a Gamora or something. Like, I could maybe put a Sentinel here to hedge a little bit better here. Stegron, like, always wins this, right? Well, if they play another card, maybe not always, always, but then I'm feeling much better in the other spots. Um... Longer than Segron. Eh, it's fine. I actually want something to be left here, so that would actually just make me win 10 to 0 when I kind of think I prefer winning. You know. Want them to have a little power left here so that they don't get it all elsewhere. I could I could kill Monger instead of, of, of uh Sentinel, but I lose the Howard, so it just kind of depends on what you think with the Howard, I guess. <clears throat> uh yeah, that's what we were talking about, right? With uh with the, the the doubling, Scarlet Witch denies that kind of play exactly. Gamora is what we talked about, but Magneto the same difference. <sighs> Why don't you use variants? Oh, I actually get um, I get I get uh, I get one cent uh, like a royalty every time somebody asks me that. Uh, the the Marvel Snap team, like the the makers of the game, they give me one one cent. You know, like one American U.S. dollar penny. Um. I don't know why they it's like some engagement thing they like when you get extra engagement so like people talking about marvel snap and like social media or whatever so they give us one penny every time somebody asks me um why i don't use variants and 
Um, guess what, guys? I just bought the moon. Turns out, if you have enough money, you can buy the moon. And I bought it. <laughs> I have all the money. <laughs> all the money's mine. This is a garbage combo. I have all the money on the earth. I can buy the moon. I... <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry to meme a little bit. Um, I don't know, man. I just don't really care. I like the base art. I think it's easy to see it. It, 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 it's, it's honestly usually some of my favorite art. I don't have a fancy reason. I, I'm sorry. It's disappointing. If you ask when I'm building the deck, I will probably put variants in, though. If you're here and you want to ask, I'm happy to do it. I just normally don't think about it a lot. <clears throat> Elon Musk tried to buy the moon, but it turns out I had more money. <laughs> How many people believed the first half of that? How many people did I have in the first half? Did it sound kind of authentic? All right, quantum tunnel gone. I kind of like that actually. What are we drawing? Ooh. Um. Sentinel. Oh, I guess I put a sentinel in my deck with quantum tunnel, didn't I? That's right. Am I gonna get an, a Scarlet Witch back? Uh, I kind of wish we could. I mean, they're way behind though, so maybe it's okay. Stegron's kind of carrying right at the moment. And I can delete the Howard the Duck for even more upside. Technically a little bit anyway. Um, wait, what? Oh, it took a second. Oh, it's Scarlet Witch. Oh, dang. Okay, they may not be expecting to play here because they think like, if I add power, I'm just gonna lose more, but. I don't really need to play to that, right? We're gonna have Nova upside. Um, it's an 11 power advantage there. Yeah, I mean, technically this is all right. They may go for like a big hit monkey to flip this or something, but then I don't think they go in the other spots. Basically, I think they're, they're, they're limited. Did I play this in the wrong order? I just, oh no, I got it. Hesitated for a second there. Well, uh, Clintar is fine. That's cool. I think it was just Mysterio, right? Yeah. So that won't help them much. Chantress doesn't matter. It's fine. Man, we had like a much, much bigger. Whoa, Mysterio. We had a much bigger pop off than them, man. I'm not really sure why. Both had Sarah. Atalan, okay. We can Scarlet Witch that baby. I hate Atalan so much. If the opponent's deck feels like it's more Atalan susceptible, we might not want to, but usually it's fine. Ooh, we do love Zabu, but Lemuria is gonna hurt him a little. The Nebula goes away with Killmonger typically. Might be an armor or something technically though. Limbo! That's an inter interesting way to steal a game with Scarlet Witch as well. Uh, we're actually better off to Killmonger late, both from a surprise standpoint and from a buff target standpoint. Armor though, yeah, as we feared, sadly. We can Enchantress that though and still make a play. We'll see. Polaris as well could rip one out. That's kind of cool too. Uh, okay. Let's see. We've not talked about the patch yet. No, we will. Oh, uh, sadly, one of the new ones. Ooh, hoo, 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 that looks good. Do you think they have a Professor X in the stack? If so, this loses to it, right? Uh, but I need to leave space for the rest of the game plan, so I think it's okay even if we do. If they Professor X left, I mean, they're kind of just over committing anyway, so that'd be fine. But this is gonna be a big surprise. Yeah, Professor X right, that's fine. I mean, we don't love it, right? But actually, we can equalize with Nova. They're probably not expecting the Nova to equalize that either. It's an even more cool play, man. If we Stegron here now too, we can even maybe control that a little bit. Does this have any downsides? No, nothing hurts us here. Shang-Chi is actually 
wasted, but it doesn't hurt. I'm just playing this for six power right now while I can. I'm hoping to knock this Star Lord here to lock them up here. And then on our final turn, we go Enchantress, Killmonger, wipe out half their stuff left. We're still pretty big mid. I mean, Killmonger might go mid. I don't know, but either way, let's uh, let's lad for now. We'll at least learn our our top deck. Oh, okay, that that's actually fine. It doesn't matter. The, the important part was them filling up there, so that's okay. Duck, it is. All right, Mr. Duck. That's right, because he'll eat the duck. So we're at eight, um, 10, 12 left. They're gonna be at uh, only six. We're ahead by a billion mid, and we are uh, gonna tie right. So this looks absolutely fine. I'm not gonna snap, it's too late probably, but uh, also I wanna see the end of the game, so. <clears throat> yeah, Gamora's just not big enough. Cool. Yeah, great, great win. Cross the board. Thanks, Howard. Victory. Ooh, we love Zabu. Yeah, this is an insane Zabu hand. <laughs> the amount of respect that the Killmark review treated later. Unfortunately for me, I don't have time for that right now. I gotta go to I gotta go in about 20 minutes and I wanna get like five or six games at least. <clears throat> Maybe more. Seven, eight games. Star Lord again. I'm just not gonna we see all the Star Lords tonight, and we're not gonna see any Star Lords for months. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> Howard, okay, Howard's gonna be great, actually. Uh, what is reeling first? I might be able to like, lock down left somehow. Um, Maybe we put Howard right. I don't think he needs to be there. Make sure we're not too, too committed on power here. Oh, dude. Oh, Gamora, gross. It's a good spot for it. Don't pull the rocket. 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 Nice, okay. I can destroy rocket with Killmonger later now. Oh wait though, don't okay, good. <laughs> also don't don't yeah. Perfect guys. You nailed it. Good job, team. You guys are geniuses. So Howard is Ooh, Killmonger, okay. Um we we kind of prefer to do that post Nova. We could probably just play an Enchantress. This deck doesn't look like it's gonna have a lot of ongoing threats to me. So get Sarah down and then try to try to try to find our way through that final turn with a, maybe a Nova if we can. Let's see. Pretty weak, uh pretty weak Jubilee, I gotta say. I mean, left is going to be pretty tough for us to win. Not impossible, but I'm definitely thinking about putting my power mid and right, at least for now. Um, if we reveal last, we, we could also uh, maybe snipe the demon as well. So, I, I don't know. Depends on where they put their power here. They, they need to flip a location for me to reveal last. That would be very nice. So, we've got Iron Lad, Killmonger, and oh yeah. Oh, I don't know what our... Oh, I forgot how it's ongoing. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot. I mean, that's where I want the power, right? But, but I forgot, guys. I'm gonna be straight with you. God. Um, they were really first. So Shang Chi does have uh, actually some interesting value. This is it doesn't matter if it's Nova, so that's irrelevant. Um, you gotta decide where to put this five. We're deleting eight here, so we've got five. This only puts me at eleven. We're deleting four here. I'm going to 10. They'd have to play a 10. If they played a 10, Shang-Chi kills it. So I think this is the move, right? This should be totally fine. No, it's not worth trying to go for left. Even if we commit Iron Lad Shang-Chi. Snap back. Famous last words. Because they need nine, they need 10 to tie this anyway, and then Shang-Chi handles it. As long as we win mid, which they only have one spot, and we're deleting eight, I think we'll be fine should be fine 
Oh, I forgot about Howard. Oh my god, I forgot about Howard again in the other direction. I mean, it's technically an eight would have tied, but it would have taken a nine to win. I don't know, maybe maybe the same conversation, but I forgot about Howard again. Dude, I forgot Howard on both counts. Howard is just blind to me. I don't see you, Howard. Uh, I had a chance for us to <laughs> kill longer than both. I mean, it's true. We still got our eight. Plan worked out fine, but... Uh, I maintain that Nova is an insanely strong card and gets slept on way too much because he is very often like a 1-8, a 1-9, a 1-11. I've had so many 1-11 games with Nova and it's like a 1-11 is the most ridiculous card. And yes, you know, 1-11 distributed across multiple locations is not as powerful as maybe 1-11 stacked up, but he's also, you know, more immune to removal. He is surprisingly threatening across all those spots can can really can be frustrating like even a one four in in two spots is super powerful so I, I think Nova is just insane and by the way Nova used to give two power can you guys believe he used to give plus two power like what a ridiculous card that he used to give plus two power that blows my mind that really blows my mind plus two freaking power man oh sakar is tough we don't want shang chi out there man i mean it's eh, probably just gonna be able to win sakar guaranteed now especially by polaris it because we know we can wipe out the nebula and squirrel later so there's no mojo risk and this is just gonna be full it's just am i gonna be able to win another spot uh confidently i think is the question Oh, they just played to it anyway. Oh, weird. Okay. Oh, even better. Cool. <laughs> That's fine too. They probably weren't expecting that. Same difference to me though. All good. All good. Do we save Howard for the post Killmonger again? We might. We might need to. I don't know. We're kind of limited on spots here. I mean, the opponent is too, but... Moon Girl's scary because Moon Girl might mean really stacked threats. Maybe we can lock them up in a spot here and win it kind of free-ish. Uh, I don't know. This final turn is not going to be super strong, unfortunately. I no, just passed. So that makes me think She-Hulk, of course. She-Hulk mid. Uh, She-Hulk mid puts them at uh, 9 and 4 is 13. Do I beat 13? I go 9 and 3 is 12. No, I don't beat 13. So I'm probably a little bit better off going for power right. I go to 8 and 2 is 10. That beats a single She-Hulk, but it doesn't beat She-Hulk with anything. I only need to win one of these, but frankly, it's not that easy. I feel like we're dead to two She-Hulks. Can I win right though? Doesn't feel like it to me. And if they only played one She-Hulk, yes, but they won't. They'll play a She-Hulk plus hit monkeys, and then one She-Hulk mid. We can't beat that either. As long as I did my math right. So I think we just lose, right? It's just too much. Uh, hope I did do my math right, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh... Oh, not enough still. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I could have had another Sentinel here, right? No, it's only plus two though. Yeah, it's 12 to 13, yeah. We try, just hope they don't have the She-Hulk really is your, your only hope. Uh, all right, Howard, you go wherever you like. All right, Forge? I mean, we do love Sentinels, honestly, but do we need... Eh, having extra cards in stack's fine. We we know we can play out on curve at least Polaris skip into Sarah, worst case, or two Sentinels into, into Sarah's great, so... Yeah, this is fine. Nebula, hopefully we'll be okay. We hit the Killmonger. Ooh. Might really need a Killmonger now. Board space just got really restricted. Stegron's probably better than Double Sentinel in that case, just to preserve more board space. Uh, we're both gonna be so locked up on Central Park. I'm just, I'm actually too locked up. I need, I really need Killmonger, don't I? Really. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, Kingpin Stegron. Oh, interesting. I mean, I kind of like the idea of moving a card mid right now, so they're locked up on right. Um, but the problem is I don't have a huge point advantage. So Nebula is going to gain on four, five, and six. She's going plus six. They're up eight to six. If I hit the squirrel, they would be capped at at 10, and I would be capped at 10. And then, of course, Killmonger could equalize later. Not equalize, advantage me later. What do I have here? Oh, it's Killmonger. Oh, oh, yes, okay. Perfect. Let's try to lock them up right then. Screw the kingpin. We'll solve that later. Just want to get the power now. Lock them up right. And then... Oh, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Um... Okay. So that now we know... Now we know Killmonger wins us right. Guaranteed. Not even close. Um... We have Iron Lad incoming next turn. Okay. That could be a good play to play with stuff. Do we Sarah here? It really limits me a lot, but what else could I put here? Maybe a Shang-Chi, maybe the Killmonger. We have no Nova. I really just need to win left. We know we're winning right, guaranteed. I just really need to win left. So let's put our Sarah power left. Just dump everything left next turn. Oh, that's fine, totally fine. That's, that's not our goal anyway. Okay. Totally chill. Uh, and then Howard is Zabu for the Iron Lads. That doesn't do much for us. We're revealing first the Shang-Chi's dead. This is just an absolute max power play. Nothing else matters. We go 10 and 6, 16. They got to beat 16. Uh, I don't think they can, right? Doesn't matter. We're revealing first, so no Cosmo. I think we're totally fine. What can it be? What can it be? One card? What can it be? What can it be? Oh, that's fine. Cool, good win, man. Victory. Yeah, nice. Killmonger just, man, opens up so many guarantees. I love it. I love it. I'm glad we didn't greed the Segron, by the way. That would have really, really gotten us wrecked. Uh, okay. Zabu we love. Miniaturized lab is oh dang this game got uh restricted i clicked because you had the best title it was a great game are those connected sentences you, oh you mean the lakers game was great oh yeah what is my title what does it say does it just say yeah it's a snap yeah okay <laughs> that's what i thought <laughs> god what is this game oh no they did scarlet witch this to new york at least so that gives us a little bit more flexibility uh my biggest well no stegron's my biggest play here yeah if we can hit a stegron that'd be nuts maybe we go iron lad now enchantress technically has some more upside if they play a dark hawk soon Oh, Kitty Pride. Ooh, spicy. Oh, <laughs> yes. Iron Lad, you absolute boss, dude. I love you. If we overcommit, we can still bail into New York, so that's probably okay. Oh, the opponent's out, dude. <laughs> Kitty Pride is too much. <laughs> Let's go. I love that. That's fun. Hood gives us a demon out for Killmonger. Oh, Peak is back. I missed the Peak location this week, guys. Boy, oh boy. Uh, Milano feels a little better with Sarah uh, peaked out at least. Org, another card to kill. This is reading bouncy stuff right now. I'm seeing the bounce happening here. Maybe this could mess up bounce, but we may not have priority. Oh, we are gonna have priority, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll play Sarah now. That gives me maybe a decent play on Milano next turn, too. Obviously, we want her down sooner rather than later. Why is the chance for five, not six? Uh, she went back to she went back to five power. They nerfed her again. She's been all over the place, man. Yeah, hit monkey bounce. They did lose the Korg, which maybe not super valuable, but relevant. Is there any way we can lose priority here confidently and still think we're ahead in the game anyway? 
Shang Chi might have a bishop hit or monkey hits, but I have to lose priority for that. I'm ahead in two spots currently. Maybe we just give Milano. I, it's still it's still really tough though. Oh, they went big this turn, dude. Bigger than I thought. <clears throat> Is Bishop gonna be what plus five? Hit monkey left. Yeah, that's definitely overkill. We're fine with that. Yeah, we did lose priority as intended. Um, so this is max six, seven, and this is nine, right? It'd be six, eight. No, no, no. Uh, it's 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 eight, nine, and this is nine. So I need I need to play a card here, which is totally fine. Oh, we're actually deleting Korg, so it's even eight. Uh, but it doesn't matter. This is how we play anyway. Gotta put the most power here, so this is fine. Yeah, I think there's a good chance. Oh, Taskmaster. Oh, dang, that might be a problem. I didn't think about Taskmaster. That's pretty big. Are we big enough here? Um, yeah, they're losing six. They've got 14. Oh, yeah, we're big enough. We're big enough. Yeah, we're fine. Ooh. Yeah, losing party was really important in this game. Oh, these all just stay at two, huh? Oh, that actually makes sense because of the peak. It's not like Bast, I guess. I like this deck with Howard, man. This is exactly what I was thinking about when I wanted to put this Howard in the stack. Making your Iron Lad a really interesting Sarah control play. Feels good. That's what I like. Thank you, Iron Lad, for your service. Five Frost, okay. Zabu, we're happy to play. Dude, feels just feel. I feel like playing without Howard. I just, uh, I don't know, man. I feel <laughs> like this knife is way less interesting. I miss him. I already want to see him. So we can use Polaris maybe to pull Lizard back out of flooding, and then hopefully Iron Lad will do some work there. Ooh, bad timing, but we'll still, we'll still play. Well, we could go. No, we want to have that Polaris as a backup plan. Being able to rip Lizard out's a big deal. Star Lord, so many guardians, dude. Yeah, so Killmonger thankfully doesn't care about the nebula. That's good news. So we still though do have 12 power there. So I think we would still want a Polaris. So we probably need to, Kill Killmonger will leave me with 10 power again. I'll delete Howard, but add two. Can't really play Polaris first because it might hit the nebula. So I have to play Killmonger and then Polaris. So I'm just wondering what I play this turn. It feels like probably Enchantress in that case. Um, just to get the most power down and the next turn is Killmonger into Polaris. Polaris pulls hopefully one of these two. Obviously there's a risk they, they play more stuff, but I can probably play Polaris wherever they play stuff. Um, and then we rip Flooded back because they only have seven to my 10. And then hopefully we just win one other spot. I think that's the move. Is it good enough? We'll see. Oh, I'm actually going to silence that off. That's such a cool play. You hardly ever see this. <laughs> I shut down the Professor X, dude. They're thinking like, hacks, dude, hacks. He's a cheater. Sarah's a bit late. Um, so we can put Polaris kind of wherever here. I think eight versus five. This is a good spread. We saw them have one big card last time, so they're just going to like dump Magneto right or whatever. Oh, Magneto right does mean that Iron Lad moves too, though, potentially. Does that cause me any hesitation? Like, am I ever better off with Shang-Chi right instead? It still pulls first though, so it doesn't really help. Uh, what do I have if I do this? Iron Lad and Polaris are 11 plus two. Oh, actually and an Enchantress, but this would win four to three. So I would lose mid, but I'd win here and here. If it's just Magneto, Killmonger second is better. I'm, I'm certain that's what I played. That was the whole plan, unless I goosed it. 
Gamora is sort of like Magneto, but also fine. Oh, no, it's not better. Oh my God, what? who said that in chat? You actually screwed me. The whole plan, I thought, ah! Ah! why, why? Why? I said from turn two! Can't really play Polaris first because it might hit the nebula. So I have to play Killmonger and then Polaris. <laughs> the whole point was to kill the nebula first and then you... <laughs> ah! <laughs> I hate you. I don't really, it's my fault. I should have, I should have fought back, but... I thought I had talked you guys into it and then you were reinforcing me, so I believed you too much. Kiln, okay. Nova can go in Kiln. We're unlikely to put four cards there by the time Kiln is done, so not like we're losing a spot. On a scale of one to duck, how good is Howard? I would say he is a mallard. He is a mallard. It's the only kind of duck I could think of. <laughs> There's just probably other kinds of ducks, but I don't know what they are. So I said mallard. Did Howard have the sound effect before the patch? Uh, maybe I'm hearing it. Maybe I'm not hearing the sound, but he used to make a weird little like, like he, it sounds like he's talking, right? Oh my God. This game does not want us to play. Oh no. It's gonna be a race for lab on on six, I guess. It sucks, but it's the right play. We just gotta get power. Uh, this actually really sucks. I don't want to Scarlet Witch because I've committed so much. <laughs> like this sucks, dude. Uh, Sarah goes mid on five. Like, am I big enough to win left with just a, a pile of garbage, right? If, if only we'd hit our Stegron Iron Lad here, it would have been so much better. Okay, so that's obviously the real Mysterio. Do we ever think, like, pivoting away like this is better? I don't actually think it is. I think Sarah's fine. We just play for six, honestly. They may, they may just play Sarah as well, so maybe it's one to one. Yeah, they do. In which case, um, yeah, I think we're totally fine, right? Because we just power dump here. Polaris actually kind of hurts a little bit. I don't really want to pull either of these right, but the, the Nova should win us the game either way. Howard has been a useful little two power play here in a couple games in a row at the end of this. Longer last. Uh, that would just kill my Howard. So Howard has to go post monger, I think, or pre monger, post monger. You know what I'm saying? My God, Howard dies. He's a one drop, so I don't want him going before the monger. He doesn't get buffed, in other words. No. Okay, didn't matter. Oh, does that change anything? Uh, nah, it doesn't change. Anything. All right, cool. Yeah, Nova made a big difference. I, I maintain, at, like I've hit infinite with this stack two or three times now, or, you know, variations thereof, whatever. I maintain that Nova is an insanely strong card and gets slept on way too much because he is very often like a 1-8, a 1-9, a 1-11.